Welcome to Little Robot Panda's second Minecraft episode. I apologize for it being so long between the first and the second episode, but a lot was going on. And I ended up doing a whole lot to my house. See, I ended up taking out that entire first house and I'm starting to transfer all of my stuff. Over here, I have a sheep and a cow pen here and I colored a few of them. And that house that I originally built in the first episode is now completely gone. I still have my sugar cane and I built this little ramp. And this is my new house. I ended up deciding to build this underground after I was looking over some pictures on Google. I wanted to build this on camera. I ended up having some relatives over and it was way too noisy to record a video and I was dying to keep building on my house. So I just went ahead and did this and I figured I'd just show you how to do it. Um, if you really want to know how I did it, I could always build a little small extension to it, which I might end up doing. If you want to see how I did do this underground, I can definitely do that. And here, I made the entire roof glass as you can see and I made this part glass as well and I did add a pressure plate <gasps> that is really nice <laughs> okay here um, I have not furnished my house very much all I did was add the bed and some torches and I had to add this torch in the middle here because I came back one day from mining and there was, and there was a creeper inside my house that was really scary. And this part is my fridge. Here I have some iron smelting. Let's take that out. And oh, gold. I forgot I had that gold. And I have my crafting table and I have three furnaces here. And it kind of looks like a, like a big stove. So I put this on top of it to make it look a little bit more like a kitchen. And these are actually just my personal chests that I am using that don't really belong in any particular category. And I put the iron doors here and some pressure plates here so I can be opened and it kind of looks like a fridge and I really really like this. I can't put anything on top of it otherwise the top chest won't open but yeah, it still looks pretty cool. As long as I'm not looking in from above you can't even tell. And this is my first subscriber. That it was eight. There was actually one other subscriber, but I think they had their subscriptions on private and I couldn't see who it was. So this is technically my second, but I'm going to say it's my first because it's the first that I can see. So I decided to put his name. I am assuming it's a guy because the picture is a guy, but it kind of looks like a guy's name. I have no idea how to pronounce that other than Picasso. I have no clue how to pronounce that first one. But thank you very much for subscribing and I thought since you were the first one, I will put your name somewhere in my little home. Okay, and this is just a little porch area. Ooh, I get free ink sacks. Awesome. This is the waterfall. And I originally had this um, covered in wooden planks, but as you can see, those started leaking. Um, and it looks like it was my entire porch was just taking a shower so I decided to cover this over with glass and I thought I was gonna have to do two layers of glass but it turns out you need two layers of wooden planks but only one of the glass so once I found that out I just went with glass and I put it here and I put it almost everywhere the entrance is nothing fancy because I haven't really figured out what I want to do with it yet but I go in and here's my storage. It is looking pretty cool. And I, yes, I did do a lot, but I'm really hoping that on camera, I can go ahead and fill all this out. This is going to be a really, really, really big storage room because this is how I'm doing it. Um, and each one of these test chests, they are double chests, as you can see in there. And I'm putting one item in each of the chests because I do plan on having this world for a very, very long time. And here I have birch, oak, this is supposed to be jungle and acacia, but I haven't found those two woods yet, so I'm just going to leave a spot for them. And here I have spruce, 
and dark oak. And I'm going to leave three here and three here for the stone and the wood, just for any future updates in case they want to add more wood or stone into the game. And here I started with cut stones. I'm going to start doing that. So this is uh, stone bricks, some stone stairs. And I'm doing that right there. And this wall is a huge pain in the butt. Right behind this wall is water. Uh, let me see if I have any cobblestone to show you. Okay, let me get ready. <laughs> okay, so two, no, four and seven. See, look, water. So that happened to me making this entire wall, so. If I were doing this again, I would have just built it farther in because that was a huge pain in the butt. And I also added in these skylights because mostly I decided to add these in because the torches and the way that I'm building the walls, I cannot put another torch on the wall. Like I can only put them here and I plan to put chests all along the entire walls. So technically I cannot put a torch anywhere. So I decided to go with these skylights, and they actually worked very, very well. Uh, sunlight comes in, and then when night falls, which I really don't want to be in here <laughs> at night, um, the torches in here provide just enough light so nothing's going to spawn. And right here is, the reason I have this right here is because I wanted to put lava in here. And have like a lava stream coming down, sort of like... Um, I want to say furnace it's not a furnace a fireplace there we go so it kind of looks like a lava fireplace but I'm thinking that it might be too dangerous because I'm not the safest person around lava I've already died on this world I went out mining and I ended up dying because I took a s one step too far my mine is down there and I took one step too far and I died and I lost my diamond pickaxe I was able to go back, get some more diamonds, and I have a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe now, but yeah, I lost everything that I had on me, and that really, really sucked. And I do not have any cheats enabled in this game. This is just totally original. So no cheats are enabled on my server. Now I'm kind of regretting that since I died, I could have kept my inventory, and I didn't find that out until after I died when I tried to look it up to see if there's a mod that would let me keep my items, but I didn't find a mod, but I found that cheat. And the only way you could use that cheat is if you had the cheats enabled, which I don't. So every time I die, I'm gonna lose everything. <laughs> Kinda sucks. So over here I have sand, dirt. I haven't done much else because I don't know. Um, this actually took me quite a long time to figure out like, like architecturally, I know that's not a word, but architecturally, like how to do this. Originally, I had planned just to put the two chests side by side, and I was going to have a whole bunch, but I figured that would take up too much room. So I decided to stick them in there a little bit. Okay, so that's my storage area. And here, I decided to go, oh, it's already getting dark. Um, maybe I should go to sleep because I do plan to go over there and show you. Okay, it is now morning. Oh, oops. That is something that I would do. <laughs> okay, here I built a walkway out of stone slabs. And it's just a single path and over here, I this is what I plan to do with all the bridges to connect both of them. And up here, I showed you at the very beginning, I have some sheep and some cows. And here I just kind of started a little bit. I really want to do this part on camera, so I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm going to build an underground little farm area for my sheep and my cows. So I don't have to go, because every, right now, every time I want to go breed the cows, breed the sheep, or shear the sheep, or anything, I have to go all the way back up there, and then come all the way back down. And the same thing with my wheat and my sugar cane, I really want to put that underground, and I do plan on putting that on this side down here. Okay, so this is my bridge, and I did this very, very carefully. 
Alright, this is my walkway. It's going down. I just plan on following the natural ravine. If it goes in, I'll make this go in. If it goes out, it'll go out. And this is as far as I did it because I didn't want to make too much of it because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put things. So I didn't want to make it too far down, but I did make stairs so that I could go down. And this, and I will show you where I have been mining so far. Go up. Okay. I'm actually thinking... No more. Okay. Okay, I'm actually thinking that the entire bottom, I can just have it filled in with water. Because there, uh, there's an awful lot of these waterfalls. And, ooh. Do you have a bow? I don't think I have time for a bow. Okay. I thought I had a bow. I guess I don't. Okay. It's dead. I have had a creeper explode on me here before. <laughs> okay, and this is where I am currently mining. I went all the way up there. There's nothing up there. And I'm going down here and I made a huge shaft. And basically what I'm doing, I went all the way down to 11. Because I wanted diamonds. So here, as you can see, I'm at 11. And I did go down a little bit farther right here. And yeah, there's bedrock just a few blocks down. So here, I didn't really go down that way. Because I wanted to go over here. And this goes down really, really, really far. And I ended up finding another underground ravine. And I even found some lava. And I found, I don't know, like 10 diamonds, but I ended up losing half of those when I died. <laughs> so, I got a few of them back, and I have my diamond pickaxe. And, ooh, and I just got obsidian on my last um, mining run. So, I need to build a crafting table and a portal. I'm thinking a portal first, because I need diamonds for a craft, for an enchanting table. And I haven't found any and I don't know if I should wait because do I really need a portal right now because now that I'm able to make a portal I was thinking of inside my storage room to instead of that lava fireplace thinking just getting some nether rack or some nether rock and making it on fire that way and that would be actually a lot safer for me since me and Lava do not go well together. Let me know what I should do. Now I was actually thinking maybe not this middle thing right here. Maybe taking this entire wall and maybe go up to here with a really long and huge fireplace. Like you would see in those like medieval castles, like in Lord of the Rings or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um instead of this middle lava thing but i think the middle thing with lava would look really really well i don't know i can't make up my mind on it let me know what you guys think because i i don't know i'll probably just take the first suggestion that somebody says because i really can't figure out my i can't make up my mind here's obsidian i have 18 that should be enough for a portal and an enchanting table but I didn't count that out either. Okay, since I'm here, let's go shear some sheepies. And they're pretty packed in here. Oh no. And I need, I would really like a dog. But I don't know when, where there's a, an area nearby where I can find a dog. Oh, I did make a copy of this world on creative so I could figure out like where things were and kind of kind of cheat a little bit. Move cow. And while I was in creative on this world, I found a village. That like it's actually um where is the village? Where am I? Oh, okay, it's over here. It's like over here. And it looks like I would actually have to take my bed 
And oh, oh, I ain't taking it from the wrong side. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to take it from my bed. All right. It looks like that village is about two to three days walk from where I'm at. But, and I don't know if it's worth going into because I did peek at the chest in the blacksmith area and there's nothing good in there. There's some iron leggings and that was the best thing in there. But what they did have was food. They had carrots and potatoes. And I was thinking just for that, because the only thing I have right now is sugar cane and the wheat. So I was thinking maybe just for that, just for the food, I should go make my trip over there. Mm, these sheep are eating again. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's get some more wool. Oh, I need a... That's a, what else I do. Breed the cows. And because I need a whole bunch of leather in order to make all of those frames that I need for my storage area. I need lots of cows. Okay, I'm going to breed all of these cows and then I'm going to kill a few. That's usually what I've been doing. Breeding and killing. Come here, cow. Ooh, I'm all out of wheat. Oh, I hate leaving an odd one. Oh, there's two of them over here. I think there's two of them together. Is that? Oh, no, I think that's a sheep. Oh, I used it on a sheep. I think it's kind of cute that when I color them, sometimes the color goes to the little baby. Okay, let's put the wool in and let's kill some cows. Because this pen is getting really crowded. Okay, let's kill four. Alright, I killed four. Got some more leather. How much leather? Oh, I only got two, but I got four steaks. Okay, and this is the last chest that I have. Oh, I could have just broken it. Okay, no more of that first house. It's all gone. Yay. And really, I've just been putting all that stuff from my chest up above, and I've been sticking it in here. I guess this is just temporary until I can I build an actual chest for the inside of my storage area and I can actually dump all that stuff because my original plan since this is technically like a fridge I was just gonna put food in here but yeah that didn't work out so well I needed the extra space because I didn't want to like just dump a whole bunch of things inside here and then just take it out later because it's very possible that I'm gonna forget so this is what I'm doing with the chest. I'm going to the side and I'm just putting two down and that's it. And I put the plate over here. I don't, I don't have any with me. So that is it for the second episode. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any suggestions on where I could build things and what to build, please leave so in the comments and I will see you in the third episode.